you know, most of my life, all I ever cared about was anything that was dark and creepy and metal music. But you know what? Recently, I have felt the need for something a little bit more different. Well, well, welcome back, everybody. I hope that you're excited because now we are moving on to The Visitor. Yes, indeed. This was probably one of the more requested songs. So I'm actually kind of curious as to why some of these songs are more requested than others. It's a... Uh, it's an interesting. It feels like I learn more about you based on what's mostly requested. <laughs> Let's check it out. So, uh, a couple things that stu stuck out to me is, this is probably weird to say, but I, I feel like I've, I've got to say it. This, to me, is almost part of, feels like a genre that no longer exists. This kind of feels like something that you'd hear that I, I classify as, like, noir. Like, when you're listening to 
or if you ever seen like a really really old movie you know like a maybe even older than dick tracy you know like those old private eye detectives and suddenly the you know the lady comes slinking in and this kind of song kind of feels like this song kind of starts playing you know But the thing that's nice about it is that even though it has a little bit of that noir movie kind of feel to it, there is a little bit more to the feel of it overall. To me, there's kind of this distinct feeling of bringing back that lounge music that we kind of hear and have heard in songs like Jam Jam. And I think it's just a really interesting thing because I think that that must be a type of music that she's really passionate about. Because I feel like that she likes to, and maybe it's just part of this era of her music. Because, you know, it seems like that a lot of people kind of go through different eras of what kind of music they write. Maybe this is hers. And uh, I think that it's just really interesting because I think in a lot of senses, it's very, it's a very dynamic writing style. Um, but also at the same time, I think the thing that I can truly and honestly say that's so cool about it is that she wants to make music like this. This is something that I feel like that so many people shy away from. A lot of people just don't really like that. I shouldn't say really don't like. But it's very uncommon for people to want to listen to kind of a noir speakeasy kind of music. And like I said, like I think one of, uh, one of the groups that I really got into that did a kind of a jazz like this, but without the vocals. And I just, I, I am also kind of drawn to that kind of, dark brooding noir jazz kind of like feel to it it almost gives you like this like sense of like an ominous sense behind it and i kind of get that a little bit here and i think that that's what makes this really kind of an attractive song um lyri- like musically speaking so i'm gonna again hop to the lyrics <laughs> all right and here we go got it right here i don't look back at that person I don't promise love. Living every day like dancing. I guess I couldn't take my eyes off him, even for a moment. He's not shy. I don't laugh easily at jokes. I don't laugh easily at easy jokes. (laughs) Then, if you smile once, oh, I couldn't do anything and ran all night long. Oh, the wise words that made me live word by word. Even if I barely hate you, I can't forget you. Without leaving a single footprint, oh, where did you rush off to? Why do I still love you? Why do I sing about you? Why do I still wait for you? Sing about you, say, love you. Baby, I love you. Um, Oh, it made me hot, warm hands and joints. No matter how hard I try, I can't shake it off. Without giving even an inch of shadow. Oh, how did you leave so quickly? Have you ever met that person? Is it still like that? By now, where, to whom, and what, and to what music? Are you dancing safely? Why do I still love you? Why do I still sing about you? Why do I still wait for you? Sing about you. Say, love you. Baby, I love you. Why I love you. Um, I think that actually still kind of goes around with kind of what I was saying. Uh, feels a little bit kind of like noir-esque still, kind of that speakeasy kind of feel, you know, kind of like Fever, you know, the song Fever, it's, it's wildly popular, and, um, it's kind of the, yeah, it's just the vibe that I get, um, I don't know what it is, I, I'm actually pretty excited to start seeing her, uh, guides and stuff like that, maybe that will allude to her fascination about this kind of music, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why, because the like again, like I said, almost nobody makes music like this anymore, and uh, I think that that's kind of I think that that's kind of cool. I do I do like the fact that you take risks on music that almost nobody would ever think to make music for ever again. Hey, you know it's almost like might as well bring back the transatlantic accent. You know what I'm saying? But pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> anyway. Let me know what y'all think about this song. Maybe I'm missing something here. I am curious to know what y'all think, though. 
let's see you in the next one. Goodbye. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Interesting.